If you're looking for a better way to pack all your stuff in a bag, I'm going to give a review on a Osage River fishing backpack and the way I set it up on this episode of Hack the Fish. I show you this bag I want to tell you a little bit about it this bag has a lot of compartments and everything but my first bag I ever bought about five years ago was a SOG military tactical bag from Walmart it had a lot of room well years later wear and tear I started looking for another SOG bag look at checking around at plenty of Walmarts around my area couldn't find them anywhere. Looked online and Walmart.com wants $59.99 for this bag. And I just don't see that putting that in a fishing bag. So I went to eBay and I was looking around and I found this bag that pretty much matches the Catfish Pro rods that really orange looking color now this is my second rod I bought I'm really getting into the catfish pro products I have not been let down by the service I have not been let down by anything that they have put out so far yet now this bag is orange This bag is double stitched in every area. In a few places, it's triple stitched to make sure it gets good, tough fabric. This fabric is 600D ballistics nylon. Now, ballistics nylon was manufactured by the DuPont Corporation. The DuPont Corporation manufactured 600D nylon during World War II for the airmen. And after the war and everything, plenty of backpacks and everything's been made from it. It's abrasion resistant, really tough, and a double stitching will probably last me a while. But this is really not a big bag. It's just the way I've set it up, it has a lot of room. This bag is not really that big, but let's get to what I bought, what I've got in it first. In the back part of it, I have a tackle box. Full of sinkers. Probably about five or ten pound of sinkers right there. Front little pocket, right here, I have my fishing glasses, sunglasses and everything. And in the front mid-size pocket, I have my fishing scales, things to take hooks out with. Scissors, uh, batteries for my scales, uh, just different things in the front. Now, it has a secondary pocket that's not as big as the back one. I haven't got much in it yet. I ain't rounded up all my stuff, but in this mid-sized pocket, I have a small tackle box for catching bait. Plus some smaller sinkers. 
and hooked and swiveled. And it's got a bigger pocket in the back. Now, this bigger pocket right here is zips all the way down to where you can see everything completely. But I have three, I could get more in this pocket right here with the holes in it. I got three DIY slip floats. Another pocket right here on the back side of it. And I have a bug out fishing bag. Now, I don't know how many of y'all know what a bug out fishing bag is. But, let me explain it to you. This bug out fishing bag is for long trips. It has everything you need in it. It's got your swivels. It's got your hooks. It's got extra sinkers in it. All your hooks, beads, swivels, sinkers, and it's got another pocket. I've got some dollar store. Dollar Tree bait cutting knives. Good bait cutting knives right here for a dollar. There, you may have to do a little bit of sharpening on them, but they, they'll cut all the way through your bait. And if you leave it, you just lost a dollar. It's got a zip pocket on the back of it. This zip pocket on the back of it, I usually keep. Leader line, floats, uh, let's see what we got here, uh, another knife, super glue in case I cut myself, that is my fishing bug out bag, if I don't want to carry the backpack and I'm going to walk over a log train, this has everything I need in it to get to where I need. I'm going to get you all down here on the floor, and I'm going to unzip these pockets and everything. I'm going to show you up close about this bag. Alright, like I said, it's not a very big bag. It's about the same size as an igloo backpack cooler. This is the inside of the medium bag in the front like I said it's got extra pockets and extra compartments where you can set stuff in this is the inside of the sunglasses bag I guess that's what that mainly use it for but you could put different stuff right here like your leader lines and stuff like that This is the mid-size bag. Again, it has pockets right there. I guess you can put your fishing license right there. And then it's got plenty of room right here. Like I said, for the hooks. Bait hooks and stuff like that that's used for live bait for catfishing. And then, this is the largest pocket. Like I said, it zips all the way down. That's your zipper pocket right there. Zips all the way down. Another pocket right here. And there's a pocket in the back where I pull the sinkers out. Now, for this to be a small bag, it has an outstanding amount of room. For anybody that fishes. Again. Name of it. Right here. You can find them on eBay. I'll put the seller up there. 
And like I said, it pretty much ain't no bigger than a common backpack cooler. But it has a lot, a lot of room. We're going to enjoy carrying this. And it matches my Catfish Pro rods really good. Now getting to my bug out bag. My bug out bag is made by Academy Sports. It's a H2O Express worm bag. Now I took the worm folders out and I put you can get these worm binders in here and these you can see what kind of hooks you want without your hoods getting wet all of them and they won't rust. Like I said it's got extra pockets in the side of it for I got some skipjack lures in here. Sometimes I see skipjack when I'm out busting the water. I got room for sinkers in here, extra sinkers. And a zip pocket I keep my floaters and stuff in. This is a good bag if you want to walk a lot of distance and carry everything with you. If not, throw the backpack on your shoulder or just put it in a little wagon like my last video where I built. And you just pull everything with you. Now, to the end of the video, I am impressed with the stitching and the room this little backpack has. I'm going to be posting up in the corner of where I got it at on eBay. It was $34.99 with a one-year warranty. I'm going to be posting the different colors it comes with. I liked all the colors except for they had this horrendous blue that was just if you wanted to find something in the dark, you could find it in the dark. It was just horrible. But that's just my opinion. Now, if you have a different setup that you use, or a bug out bag that you use that you just carry to certain locations, put it in the comments, or join my Facebook group, Hack the Fish, and we'll discuss anything you want with DIYs. Well, we're at the end of the video where I say, do what you love, and love what you do. And this is Hack the Fish. And I'm out.